graph of a quadratic function in the form f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c is given below. Which statement is true? The first statement says that the value of a must be negative. Well, when we locate a in the function, we notice that a is the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient determines whether the parabola opens up or down. If the leading coefficient is positive, the parabola opens up. If the leading coefficient is negative, the parabola opens down. In this case, the graph opens up. That indicates that a must be greater than zero or positive. So the value of a must be negative is a false statement. a is not the correct answer. The second statement is the value b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. Recall that b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant and it's part of the quadratic formula which is used to find the x-intercepts of the graph of a quadratic function. To find the x-intercepts of a function we let y or f of x equal zero and then solve for x. So in our function we're going to replace f of x with zero and then solve for x. To solve this equation, we use the quadratic formula. We get x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of the discriminant, all divided by 2a. Well, let's investigate what happens if the discriminant is equal to 0. Let's substitute 0 for the discriminant. We get minus b plus or minus the square root of 0 all over 2a. Well, the square root of 0 is 0, and when we add or subtract 0 from minus b, we just get minus b. So this expression simplifies to minus b over 2a. That indicates that if the discriminant is equal to 0, then there is just one x-intercept, and that one x-intercept occurs at minus b over 2a. Well, when we look at our parabola, we notice that the parabola only intersects the x-axis at one place. That one place must be at minus b over 2a. So b is true. We've shown that b is a true statement, but let's go ahead and show that c and d are false. For both c and d, we see the expression minus b over 2a. What we want to recall is that minus b over 2a is the x-coordinate of the vertex. The corresponding y-value of the vertex can be found by substituting minus b over 2a into the quadratic function we get f of minus b over 2a. So the statement, the value f of minus b over 2a is less than 0, is saying that the y-coordinate of the vertex is negative. But what do we know about the vertex of our graph? Since the vertex is to the left of the y-axis, we know that the x-coordinate is negative. Since the vertex lies on the x-axis, we know that the y-value is 0. So f of minus b over 2a is not negative. f of minus b over 2a is equal to 0. So C is a false statement. The next statement, the value minus b over 2a is greater than 0, indicates that the x value of the vertex is positive. We've, we've already stated that the x value of the vertex is negative. So that is a false statement. Finally, the last statement, all of the statements A through D are false, is false because B is true.